All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series where I take a look at an interesting indie game that has caught my eye recently and for today we are looking at Artifact of Gods by Nightbox Studios and I just actually realized that the mouse is lighting up behind me. That is... Whoa, what the... Ah, uh, <laughs> I just clicked the mouse randomly and... I can play around with the stuff on the menu. That, that is wonderful. <laughs> Little touches like that always amuse me. But yes, this is uh, The Artifact of Gods by Nightbox Studios, and it is a stealth action adventure game. Now, as you can see up here, it is still a beta build, and this is a what they call a demo beta build, so it is certainly not feature complete and still has a lot of things to work on, but as you can see, they are uh, got some chapters going here that'll be in the final game that should be quite interesting, and it is in Unity, so when you launch the game, you do get that typical Unity launcher box where you can select resolution and graphic options, and in the options menu that they have here... All we have is mouse sensitivity and audio volume, though it is nice to see mouse sensitivity. That means, well, well, I shouldn't have to change the mouse sensitivity switch on my actual mouse, but um, uh, who knows? Not sure if it'll be in-game yet or not, so we I don't know if we'll have to head back out to the menu to change this, so I still might have to change it on the fly, but we'll find out. So let's just go right into a new game. And check this thing out. Ooh, we have a cutscene. That's kind of loud. Let's turn my volume down on my headphones. Oh, hello. Yes. You're my guide, huh? Looks like you found a way in. I did. A little bit. Okay, so looking around. That's where we fell in. Whoa, the mouse movement on this is kind of screwy, and not as in, like, the speed. The speed I can deal with, it's... It's kind of... I, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It seems... floaty, almost. It's, it's, it's a little strange. You seem to be oh. So now, okay. Space to jump. Let's see, what do I have also? Control to crouch. Typical keys for that. Can I... sprint? At least not with shift. I hope it's not bound to something else. We'll find out though. Let's jump over this. Do you see the torch on the wall? Yes, I do. Okay, so the F. Ah. Good to know. Ah, that would make sense. Uh, okay, so drop the torch with G, and pick it up with F. Excellent. So yeah, it is a stealth game, so that's good. If you are using the torch, the enemies will see you. So let's pick that up. But yeah, so with the torch, you can see things and find stuff. Let's actually go look in here again, since we have light now. Chains on the wall. Texturing on this is quite nice. Models look pretty good. The particle effects on the fire, I am enjoying. Ah, that was a long fall. And that is the extent that we can look up. So we can't look all the way up 90 degrees. Maybe about 75 or 80 or so. Interesting. Same with down? Yeah, same with down. Oh, I always hate when games do that. Because if there's something on the ground that you need to pick up, like, say, the torch, you got to be... Well, at least on this game, it seems as long as you're in the radius, you can pick it up. But some games are finicky about it, and you have to, like, back up or reposition yourself to actually grab it. Doesn't seem to be the problem here. Oh, yes. Okay, so control or C. So, what? Okay. Oh, I can run with shift. Wait, what? Oh, maybe it just wasn't turned on earlier. Interesting. Okay. I'm wondering what all the stuff at the bottom is. Oh. I want you to find a way through this labyrinth and get me the artifact. Ah, crap, a labyrinth. I'm never good at mazes. But I'm wondering what all the stuff at the bottom is. I'm guessing the plus signs are our life. I'm wondering what the three things in the middle are. The torch is, of course, 
that, or whatever we have in our hand, I guess. But I'm wondering what those three things are in the middle. Hmm. Stay alert. Oh. There might be undead patrols in the corridors. Oh, undead patrols, huh? So stay hidden and avoid any contact. Oh god! They found me already! Stay invisible and let them pass. Uh okay, so you gotta hide in the shadows. Oh god, a trap, and I'm dead. Okay, so this game is unforgiving. I like it. All right. Oh, God, where's my torch? Where's my torch? No, <laughs> my torch. Okay, we lost our torch. Uh, oh, well, there's another one on the wall. Let's actually just not use the torch for now. See if maybe I can... Oh, God, no, the undead patrols found me. Uh, okay. And that's another trap, and I'm dead. <laughs> Wow, yeah, those um, patrols, they found me pretty quick. Interesting. I wonder if there's any way around the traps. Let's go over to this one over here. Maybe we can, like, jump over it. Or maybe crouch. Can we crouch? And not trigger it? No. Oh, we trigger it, but we're safe. Ah, good to know. Good to know. All right, those patrols still aren't there. Or they've passed by, rather. I wish I could lean. What is that? <gasps> a lever! How do I use it? I have no idea how, I, how to use this. Um. E? No, not F, not G, not mouse. Hmm, do we have any bound controls in here? Oh, okay, we do have the mouse sensitivity here. Lovely. But no bound controls. Interesting. How do you use the lever? Because, yeah, E doesn't work, F doesn't work, the G that we use to throw the torch down doesn't work. Let's just start pushing buttons. Oh, that's another crouch. Huh. Well, I give up on the lever. All right. Moving on. Let's go back to crouching here. Okay, we have some sort of weird rune stone. Lovely. Lovely. Let's go up to it. Hello, runes. Oh, did they? The others what? The others what? They'll probably kill me, won't they? Yeah, that they'll probably kill me. I really do like the fire particles. Very nice on that. So how... Oh, God, this is another use thing. How do I use? Ah, it is F'd. It is F. Okay, so accept boost F. Maybe I need to, like, hold down F on the lever. We'll go try that in a second. So, Runestone of Evitria Boost. Using the magic of this stone will increase your agility. Increase movement speed plus 25% for three minutes. Lovely. So, let's accept. Excellent. So, yeah, right now, like in the atmosphere of this, I always like a good stealth game. I like the sort of mystical side of it. Let's go and try to hold the F down for this. Nope, that's not working. Maybe I need something to actually use the lever, so... Huh, that's strange. Oh god, hello! Uh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me! <laughs> uh, oh god, there's a torch there. Um, oh, I'm gonna get spotted. <laughs> or maybe not, because they probably loop around there. Ah, yes, they did loop around there. Excellent. So they... Are there. So let's follow behind them. They are making a loop. And... Hmm. So there's that trap down that direction. Oh! Oh, that's another trap, and I'm dead. <laughs> okay, these traps are hard to spot. All right, trial and error. Where in the world am I now? Oh, I'm here again. Why does it seem darker this time? I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's go back over here. Now, we know we can get through this one by just going under. Excellent. Now, that one over there... Where exactly was it now? Hello, skeletal guards. I wonder if I can jump it. Jump! Oh, you can. Oh, lovely. How, how do you even see that trap, though? I don't see it at all. Huh. Oh, God, more skeletons. 
Hello, runestone. Right, I'm gonna hide behind you for now. Ooh, I'll use it from behind. Uh, runestone of Aranthor. This will spawn a sphere of light. Follow it through the maze and stick as close as you can. If you manage to reach the lever... Oh god, that's how you use the lever. Okay. Uh, if you reach it at the end of the light track in time, you'll be able to deactivate the spike traps within corridors. Oh. Cool. So that's how you turn off the levers. Alright, good to know. Let's, uh... Not accept it for now. I want to know where those skeletons are exactly. Hmm. Where are they? They just like patrol back and forth there. That would make sense. So they. Oh god, I haven't seen! Can I hide behind here? I wonder. Will they find me? Well, it's gone epic music now. I'm hoping when they give up, it will no longer be the epic music. I am liking the music selection, though. So yeah, so far, nice texturing, nice models. I like the atmosphere of it. This whole the sort of godly, otherworldly thing with the rune stones and some sort of weird deity trying to help us escape. I like all of that. It seems quite cool. And these rune stones are an interesting addition, either giving you powers or giving you challenges that help turn off things, such as the traps. Definitely a difficult game, though, because you've got, like, the skeletons trying to kill you that you have to avoid, the traps that are one-hit kills. Let's actually test real quick. First... Oh, the skeleton is still right there. Hello, your pathing is awful. Hi, right, let's actually test... Yep, that is my health. And so, two... We can take about three arrows, or maybe two, maybe three slices of a sword. Interesting. So let's click to respawn again. And I'm just going to cheese it through the level. Actually, I'm going to go this way. Avoid that trap. <laughs> so I remembered that one. Okay. So where are we now? Oh, God. It's so dark. I can't really see if things on the floor are traps or not. Oh, that's a trap. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> okay. So this game also seems to be a memory game. Where was the last trap you ran into that killed you dead? Alright, let's go over and then under and see what's over on this portion of the map. Oh, ha! <laughs> okay, we seem to have some... Oh, that's interesting. Hold on one second. Oh, I think that's how the stealth works. When you're, when the screen's bright like this, you can be seen. But if you go into like the shadows in this corner, your whole screen goes dark. That must be how you actually achieve stealth. Oh God, skeletons, we're testing this now, folks. And it worked. Okay, so cool. That's how the stealth mechanic functions. That's nice. Where do these guys go? They do a loop. I wonder if they set off traps. I highly doubt it. Where are they going? Oh, is this where that rune stone was earlier? I'm not entirely sure. Kind of hard to remember where everything is on this map, but I think... Oh, no, I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Oh, okay, no, that was not a duck. That was... Or a jump. That was a duck. Ha! Huh. Wow, this game... This game is interesting. This is... It kind of reminds me of when I used to play old school, like, text RPGs, where you'd have to draw yourself out a map. And you're like, okay, forward is a forest, uh, to the east is a river, except in here it's... Okay, turn here and duck, turn here and jump, and turn here and run for your life, there's a skeleton! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, quite cool. I am liking it. I want to test one more thing. I want to wait for these guys to come around. Hi! Am I hidden now? Nope, nope, they've seen me. So yeah, you gotta like turn the corner to lose their uh, vision or their sight radius and then hide in the shadows. That's good though that they took that into account. That's one of the things that actually annoys me about Assassin's Creed. It's like, hey, I've said, you know, I'm a guard and I have seen that assassin. Oh, he's in a bush now. Never mind. This. They actually remember, ah, yes, you're still there. Just because you're in the shadows doesn't mean we won't still kill you. Oh, yeah, I, I'm actually really enjoying this. For 
a early beta, I, I quite like it. It is very well made. The texturing is wonderful. The model quality is quite nice. The atmosphere and particle effects and music are all good. I like the stealth elements. What was that? <laughs> Something went click. Oh, God. Okay. Run away. Run away. So, yeah, that lever will turn off the spike traps. That's good to know. Uh, I like the sort of... Um, etherealness to it all with the rune stones quite nice the game definitely is difficult and I love a nice bit of difficulty in my games I it usually means that I suck at them and have to keep replaying them over and over and over and over but still it's entertaining because it's a challenge and not just some oh yes look we gave you everything in the game and, yeah, the only complaints I have are the controls. The mouse is... It, I, I, I really don't quite know how to explain it, but it's it, the mouse is finicky. The controls for movement are very floaty. Uh, that you, It seems like if you've held down a button for a while, once you let go, it still kind of goes a bit. And when running especially... Uh, so, yeah, the, move, the movement controls could use a bit of work... The sprint bobbing, that's actually not too bad. I was wondering if it uh, was too much or not, but no. Running at a longer distance, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, overall though, really fun. I look forward to when this game is 100% complete. I think it'll make for quite an enjoyable stealth action adventure game. And yeah, so I really gotta hand it to the guys who made this, the uh, Nightbox Studios. They've done some really good work on this, and yeah, cannot wait to see what it looks like when it is all finished. I'll definitely have to uh, play a good while on it when that is there. But yeah, right now apparently there's two levels in this beta. You've got this level, and then actually let's head back to the menu. Because right now, oh yeah, okay, so those are lit up once we have started the level. So right now there's the Labyrinth and the Cave. They eventually will be releasing another beta demo of it with the Temple as well. And for the final game, I don't know if it'll still just be those three and then just polished up or if there'll be any more. But uh, definitely going to have to keep tabs on this. It is quite fun. Difficult and unforgiving, but quite fun. Let's... Hit these chains around a bit more. That, that, I like that. <laughs> yeah, once again, this has been Artifact of Gods and is free for you to download and try out. So I would definitely say to give it a go. You can follow the link in the description if you would like to. And, yeah, you know, actually, it was one thing I was worried about in the game because there's no music here on the menu. But once we got into the game, there was quite good music and very fitting for the atmosphere. I'm wondering why there's no music on the menu screen. Hmm. Missed opportunity there. But again, it's still in a beta form, so there's still a long way to go on this, but I cannot wait to see it. And I hope you guys check it out too, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and of course that you come back for the next, when we'll be taking a look at another interesting indie game. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.